Hi, this is Gary. Welcome to today's video. So this video, it's the first in the series of three that I'm going to be doing when I unbox this massive parcel here. It's so big. This has come from Colt Pens in the UK. It's really brilliant delivery service that I get from them. I'm on the other side of the world and it arrived within six days. When I order from Australia, chances are it might arrive within two weeks. So really impressed by the delivery. This video is all about the inks, the papers and the accessories that I've ordered. The next two videos, we'll be looking at two different pens. The reason I'm doing it this way is I want to make sure that each product has its own time to shine. And if I try to do them all as one video, it'll end up being over an hour long. But by splitting it up, that lets me concentrate on each of the products individually. So join me now down on the mat. And let's take a look at the inks, the papers and the accessories that are inside this box. Welcome to the mat. The box that I'm unpacking, I'm afraid it's just too big to fit under the camera. So you won't actually see me taking the stuff out of the box. What I've done is I've taken them out and just popped them to one side. We'll take a look at each of the items. So the first thing we're going to take a look at, it's this bubble wrap pouch. Let's quickly open this up. And what have we got in here? Item number one is a pen pouch. This is to go with one of the pens that we'll be looking at in a future video. Pop that to one side. Then we get into five bottles of ink. These are all diamine inks. The first one here is violet. We've then got, we've then got claret. Automark. Asa blue. And then finally, writer's blood. I'm just showing you the bottles for now. What I'll do is once we've looked at each of the items in this package, I'll then pause the video and I'll go away and I'll swatch these inks so we can look at the swatch cards. So that's the inks. Let's look at the other accessory because we had that first accessory being that pen pouch. Accessory number two is in this rather plain white box. Just fetching my scissors so I can slice this open. And in here, if it eventually comes out, we have a wooden blotter. So there we go. Let me take it out of the plastic bag. So this is a wooden blotter. Now I do have blotting paper. So here's an example for one of my books that I'm currently using. But I also write a lot at my desk and I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have a nice blotter? So that's why I ordered this. So that's the second accessory. We're now into the papers. So let's fetch this next one in. I'll turn it around like this so it will fit inside the camera. There we go. Let me just open this up. Everything's really well packaged from cold pens. And here we have a MD paper pad cotton A5 blank paper from Midori. A while ago, I did ask people for recommendations for different papers that I could try. And this was one of the ones that was recommended. So I thought, yep, yeah, I'm doing the order anyway. Let's get in. Let's order this book. Here's the front of the book. I'm going to leave in its wrapper for now until I really get round to start using it. The final item, again, is related to paper and related to papers that people suggested that I try. And that's this pack here, this set here, which is Fabriano paper. So again, a lot of people recommended the Fabriano paper. But when I was looking, they do this small pack here and it's got seven different types of paper. It says here, the seven senses of paper according to Fabriano. I'm just going to open this so we can have a quick look at each of these notepads. There's a wrapper off. Let's see if I can get this slider off. But off. There we go. No, I'm going to have to try. And, I don't want to rip it if I can avoid it. So let's look at the back here. So in here, there's seven pads. There's. There we 
uh, that's even better, isn't it? Now we can look at them side by side. In here, we've got seven pads. Each of them have got 40 sheets in. The first one is velvety paper. The second one, parchment. You know, I can even now I can feel the difference between them. The third one, embossed. That feels really rough. That feels almost like card. The fourth one, laid. That's a nice cream colour, isn't it? And you can actually see lines going down it. The fifth one, ecological. I'm guessing that's recycled. The fourth one is natural. I actually love the colour of that. That's a really nice colour. And the last one, felt mat. That's really rough. So as I, as it says, I think it might be for felt tip pens. In a video, it might be a month or so, I'm actually going to look at each of these and we'll do some writing samples on each of them. But for now, they're there so I can try out lots of different types of paper. And buying it as a pack, you know, that really was a good move. So that is the things that were in the box. What I'm going to do now is pause the video. I'm going to swatch those samples. Then when I come back, we'll take a look at them. So the first of the inks we're going to look at is Automark. So here's my swatch card. This is a really nice brown color. I like this. It's like, it's brown, but it's tending towards the orange. Or at least that's what comes out to me. You can see where it's done on thicker and it's got more of them brown shades. Whereas where it's done on thinner, yeah, that definitely, you know, if you look here in the middle, looks a lot more orange to me. Some inks I want to compare it to. Well, the first one is another dye mine ink and it's ochre. So this has got more brown in it than orange. And then the other one we're going to look at is Robert Oster Australis Oak. Definitely a paler ink. You can see where the fan is the same, but yeah, definitely a paler brown. Looking forward to getting this one into a pen. Not sure what pen I'm going to put it into yet but we'll see as the weeks progress. Ink number two is Claret. So here's my card for the Claret. This is quite a pink color. On my camera preview, this comes over as really pink. When I see it in real life, it's more tending towards the magenta type side of pink rather than the really pinky pink, if you can see what I mean. Some things I'm going to compare this to, I've got the Lamy Beryl, a little bit more purple than the Claret, and I've also got Pilot Irishizuku Yamabuda. Again, this is a, a little bit more purple. The reason I got the Diamond Claret, I've already got the Shiraz and the Merlot, so I thought let's complete the wines. So that's why I grabbed this ink. So next we have Violet, Diamond Violet. Let's look at this. So this is a lovely purple ink. Really like the look of this one. I think of the five inks, this is the one I'm most excited to get into a pen because I've really struggled getting a nice purple ink that looks nice in my pens. My comparisons with this, I've got Robert Oster Cosmic Swirl. A little bit paler, a little bit more, I would say, washed out. Then also Van Diemen Twilight Mist. And this, it's that little bit darker. So we've got a nice comparison with the violet in the middle. Going to jump to the blue family. So here we go with Diamine Asa Blue. Here's my swatch card for this. I'm really excited to try this ink. It's a gorgeous blue color. And look at the shades. We've got darker and we've got this lighter color. Now, why I'm excited about this is to me, it's a very close match to Colorverse Supernova. That's my favorite blue ink. Really do like it. And looking at the swatch cards, they're very similar. The only thing I would say is with the Colorverse ink, it's got a little bit of a red sheen there. Whereas the Asa Blue doesn't seem to have that. But as I use that, as I get it into a pen, I'll be able to see better. Final ink I'm going to compare this to, Rubber Toster Soda Pop Blue. Yes, it's a paler ink, but when you look at the pale part of the diamine, there is some sort of comparison there. So I thought that would be a good one to compare against. The final ink, and this is one I've really been excited to try for quite a while. That's Diamine Writer's Blood. I did order this before from Coat Pens, but unfortunately they were out of stock. Once I knew it was in stock, I just had to get it. 
So let's look at the card for there. This is, to me, it's a reddy brown color. You can definitely see where the saying is blood. When I've seen this on other people's reviews, I've thought it doesn't really look very much like a blood color. But now that I've actually seen it in real life on a card of my own, I can see that. So definitely when it's coming over a camera, be aware it does change the color that you see. To compare this, well, I can't go much further than Die My Knot's blood, can I? The difference between the two, I would say the writer's blood, it's more tending towards the browner side, whereas the Ott's blood, that's more tending towards the red side. So more or less the same, but there is a definite difference. The other ink I'm going to compare this with is this one here. It's by a Chinese company called Ancient Song, and this is Wanderer's Song. It's slightly lighter in terms of that background colour and a little bit redder. But where I've put the ink on a little bit thicker, you can see the darkness have coming out quite similar. Now, what I do like about Wanderer's Song is it's got this gorgeous gold sheen. That would have been nice in writer's blood, wouldn't it? So yeah, that's really the big difference. That little bit paler, but that sheen. And again, Wanderer's Song, it's one. I haven't actually been able to get it into a pen yet. So I'm looking forward to doing that. So I'm just fetching those inks. One last time. So these are the five inks that were in the package, along with these Fabiana notebooks. There we go. They'll fit in there. Ink blotter. I don't think it's all going to fit in the camera. We'll do our best. The pen case. And I'll squeeze in on the end the Midori notepad. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I'm really excited to start playing around with these papers. One of the things I'm really getting into in this fountain pen hobby, it's not just the pens, but it's the inks and it's the papers that go with it. What papers would you recommend that may be worth me trying out in the future? Please drop a comment below. Let's kickstart the conversation. Hit that thumbs up button, give the video a like. The more people that like and comment on the videos, well, it just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.